Hello everybody, it's Angie at Treasured Vintage again with part two of my jewelry haul from my friend uh, that she just gave me boxes to look through. I'm looking through them and picking out what I want to buy from her. She gets her jewelry at auction. So um, when we last stopped, if you watched the video before this, you were looking at this bracelet. Uh, charm bracelets, especially these southwestern ones, uh, I think they do well, so I am going to keep this. Uh, we have some nice swank, excuse my finger there, we have some nice swank cufflinks. Uh, probably keep those. These are very cute. Um, crystal Aurora Borealis uh, drop earrings. They're well made. Um, they're pretty. I think I'm going to keep those. Uh, some random chains here. Probably won't keep as Germany signed chains there. They're kind of common. Uh, this little opal. Um, it's, it's gold plate, but I think I might get it. It's pretty. People like those opals. Uh, it's got some finish wear on the back. Uh, I'm not sure. Some, some of this stuff's tentative. Some of it I'm going to keep and some of it's tentative. Uh, this bracelet says love on it. It's kind of cute. Um, I'll show you those earrings. Uh, here's another little pair. Oh wait, I think there was only one of those. I think that's what the problem was there. There was only one of those that I found. Only one of those that I found, which is sad because I would like I would like to have another one of those. Uh, these little ones are cute. I think I'll keep those. Very dainty uh, with the chain and the tiny little heart on the end. I think I'll get those. Uh, these are really nice. Uh, uh, little cufflinks. Do you see the enamel on those? These are really, really nice, and they're signed sterling. And something else on the back. I forget what else they're signed, but some name. Uh, yeah, they should be good. And these say, these are, I forget the name of these things too. I think they're for, for uh, cuffs or something. But they're gold. They say 10 karat gold. 10 karat gold tops, I think is what it says in there. Um, and these, I haven't seen any of these for a while. So I have to look that up and see, you know what that is? goes over a big lighter. <laughs> Not many people smoke anymore, but there's that. And I think I'm going to keep this ring. It's sterling with the colors in it. You know, I said I was going to have everything picked out of here, but it's kind of tentative right now. Uh, pretty sure I'm going to get this. Um, I think I might get this. <laughs> I'm, I'm Coming up with a lot of things I'm getting. It's really going to depend on uh, what the cost is going to be. I don't want to spend more than, say, I don't know, $50, $60, hopefully. But, uh, you know, I'll make a lot more than that off the lot. So, that's a cute little uh, sterling silver plated uh, necklace. Real dainty with the tag still attached. And uh, this box, uh, I really like it. I think they go for around 30 something like that. Uh, I need some descriptors on this box, too. So, if you think of anything about this box, uh, think of any words I can use, let me know. Uh, I do believe it's leather. It's tooled leather. Um, what would you say about this design on the front? You see the camel. Uh a friend of mine said Egyptian. That was Deb. She gave me that word. Um, see the inside of it. It's really in nice shape. So yeah, I like the box a lot. So I'm going to get that. And uh, here's some gold plated bracelets. Actually, they're gold over sterling silver is what they are. I don't know if I'm going to get any of those or not. Um, here's a sterling southwestern style ring. They're kind of common. Not sure about that. 
Uh, and I want to do, uh, I think that concludes, well, I'll show you some stuff that's in this box here yet. Uh, I started showing this in the last video. There's a lot of uh, buckles and a lot of things that people took off of something else, it looks like, in here. And there's some different kind of old buckles. A little brass box. Um, sure is fun to look through this stuff, though. I had so much fun with this stuff. It just... I can just look through this kind of stuff for hours and just be uh, entertained. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. There might even be a market for this kind of stuff. You know, the trim with the, with the beaded, you know, bugle beads and stuff, beaded trim. It's very old, I, I can say that for sure. Um, there was kind of a piece of, that had like lace on it. See if I can find that one piece that had lace on it. Here it is. Okay, look at this. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Sorry about that. See that? See that very old lace? Lace has, actually has a lot of holes in it, but... Yeah, wonder what that was at one time. Wonder what it came off of. It's really neat. Um... Yeah, if you if you uh, know anything about this kind of stuff, let me know. I have to do research on it. And uh, one last thing I wanted to show. This is for Vincent Romano. I wanted to show him the cookbook that I have. Because he, I was just in a Periscope with him, and he said how much he loves old cookbooks. So, Vincent, have you ever seen this one? And do you have it? Do you have this one? Um, I love some of the graphics in it. Some of the old, there's an old piece of something in it. Let's see. Temporarily out. Sweet facts about the sugar family. Look at those ladies. <laughs> She's out of sugar. Um, yeah, I, it's an old cookbook. I don't even know where it came from. Whether it's, uh, it was in my family or where I got this. I think it was. I think it was my mom's, actually. Oh, there we go. Came from my gram. Came from my gram. This is my gram, and this is my mother, Ruth. That's me. 1980? I guess gram gave it to my mom in 1980, because this, this is old. It's not 1980. It's probably 1950-something. Uh... Oh, wow, look at that room. <laughs> Mid-century modern. I bet that's Betty Crocker there on the, on the wall. That's cool. That's very cool. Uh, yeah, I gotta look at this. Oops. I gotta, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Are you there? <laughs> Sorry about that. I gotta look at this book some more. I didn't know they had stuff like that in there. I love mid-century. All right, well, that is all for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching, as always, and for your support of my channel. And uh, I will leave you with my, my beautiful pineapple. Yes, I still have it, and it's still sitting on my table. <laughs> oh, I wanted to, I wanted to tell you all something. Uh, if you don't uh, have Periscope, if you have a smartphone, uh, I really urge you to download that app and see what Periscope is about. Uh, because I'm really liking Periscope, and actually I'm liking it a lot more than um, YouTube. Uh, making YouTube videos seems kind of awkward to me now, uh, because it's all me. I, I don't have comments here that I can reply to. As with Periscope, you're constantly, the people that are following you, which resellers are following me, lots of people that you probably know are following me, and we follow each other, and we go thrifting, and we take each other in the stores, and we, uh, it's, it's live. 
you know it's it's so neat and it's it's a lot better than uh you know watching a, a youtube well i won't say it's better it's just different but there's interaction and it's not as awkward um like i i feel like i'm you know all the burdens on me right now to um provide information to be entertaining for you to like my video you know with periscope it's you know it's so instantaneous and it's such a a back and forth that's what i enjoy about it it's a back and forth between uh fellow resellers and myself so did i show you this <laughs> squirrel <laughs> i don't know if i showed you that but i'm getting that um yeah, so that's my thoughts on Periscope. So I urge you, uh, I, I'd love to see more resellers over there on Periscope. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, be kind when you're picking. Uh, if you would like to follow me on Periscope, uh, download the app. Uh, it's very easy. It's a very easy site to get into. It's a very easy uh, application to do. So download it, just check it out, follow me at one, number one, Thrifty Picker, and hopefully I'll see you there. Take care. It is still snowing. It is still snowing here. So bye for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.